Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure software update point. First of all, you need to verify that um, the software update points are already installed. In my SSM lab here, the software update point is already installed. Um, if I go into site and service, server, site system role, I should see software update points right there. And I want to check to see if the uh, the last syn synchronization is successful. You will go to monitor, and then under monitor, there's a distributions, and under distribution, there's software update point synchronizations. You will make sure it shows green, and the last update is. 9.2 completed. This is what you want to verify. So to configure software update point, you need to go to the administrator and go in under site and configure site configuration. Click on sites. Under site, you want to click on the your software update point site server if you have a separate software update point other than your primary site which we'll is click on it so in this case i'm going to click on my primary site which is also a software update point role right click you want to go to soft configuration site components and choose software update point At the very first tab, it is Sync Settings. It is configured to sync from Microsoft. And if you have a parent software update point, you want to point to that um, by changing to a synchronization from upstream data source location. In my case, I'm going to sync it from Microsoft. These um, options here is default. You can choose to create, but I would just say do not create update files. You want to download files and approve updates. Or you can choose, um, this is the new features with 1802. I haven't seen this in the um, in the current branch um, or in uh, 17 something. I just want to play with it. So I'm going to choose download both files for approve updates and express installation of files for Windows 10. Classification, this is very important. You want to make sure you choose the one that you're going to need. But in this case, I want to make sure I capture, I sync everything. So I choose all of it except the upgrades. I'll play with the upgrades later. But in this case, I'm just going to exclude upgrades. Products. You want to make sure you choose the products you want to update. Um, The only thing, so I want to update the uh, redistributes. This is like a required component for a lot of programs and it's required to be installed on all, most of the workstations. Exchange, um, most likely you don't want to do that. This is probably going to manually install by the exchange administrator. Forefront, I don't use any of these. If you choose, if you use them and you want to patch them, you're going to have to uh, select them. Microsoft Link, if you have Link Servers. So I'm just going to go down to Office. If you have Office in your environment, different version of Office, 2010, um, Microsoft doesn't support Office. 
2003 anymore. I don't think they support Office 2007 as well. So I'm going to just choose Office 2013, 2016 and Office 365 client. Communicator, I don't have a communicator. SQL Server, you can choose that. Configuration Center. Operating System, I choose all Windows 10. It doesn't hurt, I'm just going to choose all of it just for play around with it. Windows 7, Windows 8, I'm going to choose Language Pack. Which is window later driver. I'm going to choose a lot of Windows 8, even though I don't have Windows 8 in my environment. Windows Defender, you want to choose that. Windows Media Dynamic, Windows Internet Explorer, I'm not going to choose that. Silver 2003, I don't think you can patch with Silver 2003 anymore. It's not, I don't think, it's Microsoft doesn't support anymore. Unless you have a special second stand and you have to pay for the patches. So I choose 2008, 2012, 2016. None of these, Vista or XP. Windows Admin Center, no. Azure Pack, I don't have any of those. Admin API. I don't have any Windows for small business. Uh, Microsoft Works. So, so far, the most important one are the operating system and Office. Sync schedule. In the real world, you want to do this once a week. Since it's a small lab, I'm just going to do it once a day. Superseded rules by default do not expire superseded software update until software update superseded for specific for a specified period, three months. I'm going to leave it the way it is. If you have a lot of old patches, you, you probably want to do a run that you start clean up after synchronization I'm just gonna turn this on language so this is very important if you have if your company support multiple languages I would choose all the languages that require um, English if you have custom if you have end users in Japan you want to make sure you choose Japan in Korea so for now I'm just gonna stick with English only I click OK I'm going to force uh, synchronization so we're gonna solve a library as you can see the last sync was 9-2 four days ago uh, yep four days ago today is 9-6 so I'm gonna force the sync Go to software library and under software updates, under all software updates, you want to click on synchronizations updates. It's going to take a while. Um, I would say probably maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so you can check the status here when it's finished. So that's it. That's how you configure a software update point in SCM Current Branch Manager. Thank you for watching and have a good day.